From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News, brought to you by Send Out Cards. Try it now absolutely free at SendOutCards.com slash weird. That's SendOutCards.com slash weird. A robotic burger flipper is being used at a California fast food restaurant. So keep protesting for that $15 per hour minimum wage, California fast food workers. You'll just keep protesting yourselves out of a job. Speaking of fast food, by May, quarter-pound burgers at McDonald's restaurants in the U.S. will be made from fresh beef, which might explain why they currently taste three months old. The Fox Network says they're working on a goal of reducing their advertising on the network to just two minutes an hour by the year 2020, which sounds great until you realize they'll be making up for it with product placements. Don't be surprised if Bob's Burgers is suddenly sporting golden arches and robots will be flipping their burgers. Good news! Scientists report that they have been successful in making milk chocolate as healthy as dark chocolate. Bad news? M&Ms now require a prescription. Washington, D.C. resident Virginia McLaurin, the elderly woman who became an internet sensation when she danced with Barack and Michelle Obama in the White House two years ago, celebrated her 109th birthday earlier this week by hanging out with the Harlem Globetrotters at a school near her home. Her birthday is actually a few days away, March 12th, but hey, when you're 109, you can't really count on even one more day, let alone four. A bus driver in China was fined after video surfaced of him slurping away a bowl of noodles while at the wheel. The video shows the driver using only his left arm to steer the bus while holding the bowl of noodles with his left hand and chopsticks in his right. He went on for about 10 minutes as he hauled 20 passengers around town. During that time, he even managed to answer his phone multiple times. This is a big no-no in China, but here in America, that is just deemed a typical morning commute to work. President Trump is scheduled to meet this week with representatives of the video game industry to discuss violence in their games. He plans to propose a major change, too. Instead of killing your opponent with guns or explosives, you just have a Trump avatar tell them that they're fired. Elvis Presley once sang about a heartbreak hotel, but he could never have known that one day visitors would be able to stay at the guest house at Graceland. The 450-room hotel is a resort right near Elvis's iconic and famously stylish home. There are 20 Elvis-themed suites, including the King Suite, done up in red, black, and gold, and featuring a TV set on the ceiling above the bed, just like at Graceland. You know, knowing how Elvis died, I would be terrified to use the hotel room toilet. Workers at a daycare center in Illinois were arrested for giving kids melatonin-laced gummy bears to help them sleep better at nap time. In their defense, though, they said they only did it because they couldn't get the kids to watch C-SPAN. A 20-year-old wanting to buy a gun is suing Dick's and Walmart. Oh, well, hey, how about a compromise for you? You can't buy the gun, but we'll sell you the ammunition so you can throw it really hard at the bad guys. British researchers have found that horses are happier and more relaxed if mirrors are fitted inside their stables. Huh, strange. Whenever I look in a mirror, all I get is depressed. According to a survey, one in four Europeans has fallen asleep in the workplace. Only one in four amateurs. A study reveals the vast majority of men say they wouldn't mind if their wives brought home the bigger paycheck. Researchers were surprised to discover that just 12 percent of men surveyed said that they would mind if their wife earned more than they do, and in general, men seemed happy to share the breadwinner role. In fact, you know what? I'll take it a step further. Not only do I not mind if my wife makes more than I do, I would be happy to have her as the sole breadwinner so I can stay home with pizza and Netflix. Speaking of pizza, Pizza Hut has made a pair of shoes that can be used to order pizza. I feel a new Olympic sport coming on. Dumpster fire has been added to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. The Book of Words describes dumpster fire as an utterly calamitous or mismanaged situation or occurrence slash disaster. The phrase is one of 850 new additions the online dictionary announced earlier this week. For an example of a dumpster fire, just keep listening to the Daily Dose of Weird News. 
There is a popular theory about The Walking Dead. You know all those scenes where they show a bearded Rick in the future? That's from when he wakes up from the coma that he's been in, and this show has been one long nightmare. Meaning there is still a possibility Bobby Ewing is alive after all! A third of Americans say they've wandered in their sleep, according to a study in the journal Neurology. Scientists are not sure exactly what causes sleepwalking, but stress, insomnia, alcohol, and antidepressants have been linked to roaming. Most sleepwalkers leave clues to their jaunts – displaced furniture, missing leftovers from the fridge, and filthy feet from venturing outside. If you notice any of those signs, talk to your doctor, says study author Maurice O'Hayan, MD, PhD of Stanford University. One remedy he recommends – attach a bell to your bedroom door that'll stir you from your slumber. Well, this might explain the cookie crumbs in my pajama bottoms. Amazon says that at their Seattle headquarters, as many as 6,000 dogs accompany their employees to work. You know, I am suddenly not all that positive my Amazon deliveries have not been peed on. The NBA is said to be extremely wary of teams intentionally trying to lose late-season games to help their draft positioning. The league fined Dallas Mavericks owner Mark Cuban $600,000 last month after he said on Julius Irving's podcast that he talked to his players about how it was in the organization's best interest to lose games down the stretch. Huh. Being paid multiple millions and no expectation of winning? Heck, I'm more than qualified for that. I need to be drafted by the Dallas Mavericks. The country's first 2018 primary elections were held in Texas this week. It's like election season just never ends now, isn't it? Researchers say brain scans can help identify prison inmates who are likely to reoffend. For example, if the computer the brain scan is stored on gets stolen. Recently demoted presidential son-in-law Jared Kushner is in Mexico to visit that country's president. Either that or he's asking for sanctuary. Honestly, we're not, we're not really sure. Ari Luyendek Jr. shocked viewers during the season 22 finale of The Bachelor Monday night when he picked Becca Kufrin to be his bride. But during the After the Final Rose episode immediately following the finale, Luyendek Jr. revealed they're no longer together. Not only did he call things off with Kufrin, but in an unprecedented move, he rekindled his romance with runner-up Lauren Burnham. What? You mean reality shows aren't real? Well, are people really surprised You know, when a couple that seems to have been made for each other breaks up, even though they seemed destined for each other on the reality TV show where they met? A Connecticut man arrested Monday is accused of calling 911 to yell and scream that somebody had thrown his clam chowder into a dumpster. The man called 911 four times about his clam chowder. You know, I'm really surprised by this guy's actions. He sounds more like a crab than clams. In case you're curious, Jimmy Kimmel was paid $15,000 to host the Academy Awards on Sunday night. They would have had to pay at least $30,000, though, if they wanted him to be funny. Next time you need brain surgery, maybe avoid Kenya. Doctors at a Kenyan hospital were two hours into brain surgery to remove a patient's blood clot when they discovered, to their shock, there was no clot – because they had opened up the wrong patient's brain. That guy had come in simply for some non-invasive treatment for swelling. Both patients were brought into the Kenyatta National Hospital in Nairobi unconscious last Sunday. Reports blame the patient's identification tags being switched around for the mix-up. Hospital CEO Lily Koros says the hospital deeply regrets this event and has done all it can to ensure the safety and well-being of the patient in question. But the doctor's union says blaming overwhelmed staff is not the right response. Union head Uma Aluga says doctors are overwhelmed. You find one doctor could be doing 10 to 19 operations in a day. There was public outrage over the incident at the hospital, which was already under scrutiny after new mothers claimed they were sexually assaulted there. Regulators are planning a hearing. The patient who underwent brain surgery is recovering, and in an ironic twist, the patient who actually had the blood clot may not need surgery now, after all, because his condition has improved on its own. Or at least that's the story he's sticking with, and <laughs> I don't blame him. 
Now you can visit Disney parks in the U.S. using Google Street View. It's not really worth the effort, though. I, I tried it last night. I got in line for the Haunted Mansion ride. The line never moved. Authorities in Yonkers were called to a golf course to kill a coyote believed to be rabid. They knew that they had to do something when the coyote kept enlarging the holes with TNT from Acme Explosives Company. Today's Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by Send Out Cards. You don't have to leave the house, you don't have to buy stamps, you still get a physical card in the mail with whatever message you wish to send. Choose from the hundreds of existing cards or create one of your own, complete with your own pictures if you wish. I did that for our anniversary card. My wife received it earlier this week. She still has it in a prominent position over the mantle. Thank you very much. You can try it right now absolutely free. Go to sendoutcards.com slash weird. That's sendoutcards.com slash weird. For Daily Dose of Weird News, I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos. 